Ow. Ow. I'm okay. I think I'm okay. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Phil the Conquista Dork. Welcome to FYI DUI, the only video game news show where you can watch a drunken Conquista Dork tell you a little bit about the video gaming news. Today, I am transporting a uh, shipment of sour cream and onion crickets from Rostock to Nuremberg. They're sustainable, they're delicious, and they're crunchy. I will not hear a goddamn word against them. Those delicious crickets, those. First thing in the news is that Activision has bought King. King being the developers and publishers of the famous mobile game Candy Crush. Uh, absolutely insane. Well, Activision will buy everything. They're going to buy it all. And they bought that one for $5.9 billion. Uh, a free game that bases everything on microtransactions. I, 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 I don't know if this is an eco trip on their part or they actually think or they're going to make the money back somehow. At this point, however, they're Activision, so fuck it, right? Fallout 4 is breaking all kinds of goddamn records. They've uh, defeated Grand Theft Auto 5's record for most concurrent stream users less than a day after the release. Uh, Grand Theft Auto 5, of course, reached a peak of 3,600 players, and Fallout 4, within 24 hours of being released, hit 444,000 825 at their max level, uh, proving once again that if you want to create something that people will love, you just have to create something that people will love. God damn. Speaking of Fallout 4, holy shit, those bastards have fucked with the wrong pornography website. Pornhub released recent record showing that on the evenings that Fallout 4 was released, they received an up to 10% drop in traffic. Fallout 4 users, you selfish bastards, come on, people rely on that, there are workers and jobs and people relying on your fapping material, don't fuck with the economy of Pornhub just because you want to destroy shit in the wasteland, I mean I get it. But fuck you at the same time. <laughs> Little bit of news on the Mass Effect area recently. Um, the trailer for Mass Effect Andromeda seemed to suggest, based on the Reddit users and various powers of the internet, that the female shepherd if you want to call her that at this point is called Ryder R-Y-D-E-R a uh, screenshot seems to suggest as much and it makes sense considering that Sally Ride was of course the first American uh, who made it to space and the music used in the trailer was Johnny Cash's Ghost Riders in the Sky which you can read all kinds of beautiful things into, and I suggest that you do. Of course, as um, Irish 
musician Miracle of Sound pointed out, if you're going to name your protagonist writer, it's going to be difficult for any of those in the Northwestern Island to take you seriously, being that ride is a very popular expression for fucking in that section of town. Uh, fucking! Fucking! And finally, a little news from massive AAA games that aren't Fallout 4. Uh, this week, the fine, fine people who are in charge of Star Wars Battlefront revealed that their max number of players were a mere 188,171 players just on PS4. Holy fucking shit. People are quite enjoying that game. I would join them but I'm busy playing Star Wars The Old Republic. And uh, that's all there is to it. Shit. Oh, and speaking of numbers on highly anticipated games, Tomb Raider, Rise of the Tomb Raider, received very disappointing numbers. Upwards into the 60,000s in the UK alone, nothing close to what they were expecting. It's a goddamn shame, because speaking from personal experience, the 2013 Tomb Raider reboot was one of my favorite games of all time. It was goddamn excellent. And I would have been blissfully happy to purchase it, whether Fallout 4 was a factor or not. And yet, they went ahead and gave it the Xbox One exclusive. I can only hope this will be some sort of signal to games publishers that we don't need exclusives anymore. We don't need PS4 versus Xbox One versus PC pre-order bonuses or any shit like that. What we need are excellent games. This is particularly frustrating everyone I've talked to who owns an Xbox One and purchased the sequel to the 2013 reboot of Tomb Raider said that it was goddamn great. It was great. Everyone talks about how good it is. Which I wasn't surprised about. Because the designers behind it Publishers behind it never seem to know, or even worse, they know exactly what they're doing, but they're willing to cripple a good product, play some sort of fucking mathematical mind game. The only people with 19 MBAs will understand. It's fucking nonsense. We need to stop. button. My name is Phil the Conquista Dork. You can like me. You can favorite me. You can subscribe to me. 
Actually, I don't think I don't think you can favorite me anymore. Is that a thing that they? We all like games for the same reasons, and if you enjoy this video, what I have to offer, I hope that you will watch my videos. We're doing Fallout 4. We're doing Fallout 4. <laughs> Drop the microphone, I apologize. We're doing Fallout 4. Getting into the uh, recent expansion of Star Wars The Old Republic. We're also going to be having some Let's Plays of Her Story and Undertale coming up quick. And I mean quick, because shit. Those games seem pretty promising, and the end of the year is coming fast. And I need to have my best 2015 list solid. There's no sense in being a panty waste about things, people. None of that makes sense. videos of Universal Yums that just started this month and uh, in the next day or two I'll be unboxing the November box of Loot Crate which is every geek's greatest fantasy I think you should enjoy it. so let's do this together let's ship these sour My name is Phil. Have a wonderful evening, folks. Bye-bye.